how to remove a colored or white background from an image in PowerPoint. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button. In my previous video, I actually showed you how to create a copy this picture at Activity. And if you want to check that out, it will be in the top right hand card or it'll be down in the description. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going to show you how to remove a colored or a white background from an image. And the reason being is because I had a comment on my last video from Anna and she says, I am grateful that you like to teach us new things. I followed your steps. However, when I tried to place the figure on the table, it won't let me. The table disappears and leaves the design by itself. Could you please tell me what I'm doing wrong? Well, there's nothing that Anna's doing wrong. It is actually the images that we are using now. We are using images that other people have created and we are also using PowerPoint, which isn't an image package. So we have to do all these funny little tricks to actually do everything all in one software. So what I've done is I've actually gone on the hunt and found a JPEG image that is used for coloring pages and I got it from Creative Fabrica. And this is the one that I downloaded. So it's got these options here that I can actually be using. So when I go into here, I've already copied my table. I can go insert and I'm going to insert the, the picture from file and I'm going to go into where I saved it. Design. And I'm going to fetch the JPEG image and I'm going to place it there. And as you can see already, it has covered up that table. Now I thought, well, maybe I could just move it around. So I've opened up the selection pane and the way you open the selection pane up, if you haven't got it, is on the home tab, there's an arrange here and you can see it says selection pane. So you would just select that and I just deselected it there, so I want it back. So what I could have done is I could have just transferred my table above my picture. Now, the reason why you can actually see through it is because my table has shading of no fill. Now, if I had shading of a white fill, again, you wouldn't see the picture. So I'm gonna just put that back to no fill. And if I move that back, now this was the main issue. So I'm going to show you this trick and this trick works for any J JPEG image. So make sure you're on picture format and that that is selected. Then go to color, go down here to where it says set transparent color, click on it and you should get this little light funny arrow. All you do is just click on it and it takes away that background it's giving us the transparency for that color which happened to be white so I can go in now and I can actually crop the word apple away click away and now I can maneuver the apple exactly where I wanted it now the previous images I used in this video, they did not have any backgrounds or anything. They were just purely line art. So I went to Vecteezy, which does free images as well as paid images. Now, if you are using a free one, which this one is, you need to put attribution into it somewhere in your book saying you've used Vecteezy and name the artist as well. So what I did is I got hold of that picture and that picture actually was an SVG, but if it isn't an SVG or a JPEG or a PNG that you can use, you go to Convertio because often they come out as EPS and then you convert the picture to an SVG or a JPEG or a PNG if it's an EPS because PowerPoint doesn't take EPS, but it does take SVGs, JPEGs and PNGs. And I have done previous videos showing you how to clean up SVGs. If you want to check that out, it'll be in the top right hand corner. And again, it'll be down in the description. So let's go back here and I've already converted a file to SVG. So I'm going to go insert and I'm going to go to picture from file. And the reason why we want to use the SVG is because, and I'll also show you in, um, the JPEG as well. So this time I'm just going to insert the SVG and I'll show you moving like that grey background as well. So here we've got it. 
I can just resize it if I want. And the reason why we like SVGs is because you can resize it and there's no pixelation. Whereas if you resize the JPEG, you get that pixelation in your images. So we're on graphic format. If I click convert to shape, it's actually converted the whole thing to a shape, but there's nothing I can do yet. So I need to still ungroup it. So I'm just going to go group, ungroup, and it's ungrouped bits for me. So now I can just drag out what I don't want, which is this background. And I just simply delete it. Same with these here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into table and remove it so I can actually get rid of some more because there's still some things grouped here. So select that, right click on it and ungroup. So now I just want to get rid of Angular. I get rid of coloring book and then I'm going to actually regroup this image but I don't need to yeah I don't need to so I can just resize it and bring back my table by putting the eye back on and I'm quite happy with where that's placed and that is ready for copy this picture so what we'll do is we'll copy the slide duplicate it command Z or control D I'm going to get rid of that that graphic there by just pressing delete and then I'll do it again with the JPEG so I should do insert picture from file and I'm going to choose the JPEG image insert and obviously if you've only got a JPEG image again go to the color set transparency and again click there and it's just taken the white off and if I wanted the gray and I did that again it would actually bring the white back because it can only do one color at a time so you would have to crop this bit away put that back it away and then actually see if it works with this now so the color set the transparency color and it works there so that is how you do it it only does one at a time but it works i hope this can help you in creating your activity books i will be creating another video showing you how to actually put a white background in so you can be creating layers in coloring books or coloring activities so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the little B above my head to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to check out how to create a copy this picture book in PowerPoint. And don't forget to check out how to clean SVG's images up.